Looks like they're uh, electing to do a coin flip. It looks like uh, Wilkie wins the coin toss. You have uh, Wilkie down there on the table racking the balls now. This will get you a little bit of information about Wilkie here. His nickname is going to be Get Some Sean, Get Some Wilkie. Career achievements. He's got uh, multiple tour championships, uh, the Tiger Tour and the APT Tour. Three times Predator Tour finale. And... USA representative in the World Games and the Nine Ball World Championships. And he also just recently won the uh, 2018 Maryland State Eight Ball Championship. That was on nine footers. That was uh, at Champion Billiards. You can find those matches and that, uh, that entire series, that whole weekend of tournament play on our YouTube channel. His advice is strive to become a better player every day. So those of you who know Wilkie knows that he has a monstrous break here. And there you see it. So believe it or not, that actually looked like he took a little heat off of it by comparison to normal. Uh, me and Jake Lawson were talking about it. Jake Lawson and Wilkie are very good friends. Oh, look at that. It moved his name on me again. We're going to go ahead and get that back right for you guys. But um, me and Jake Lawson were actually talking about it the other day, about how in, uh, with it being a bar box, he's probably going to have to take just a little bit of juice off of his break. You know, gets a little bit of a favorable rub on the 10 ball here. Could have easily ended up getting hooked by the edge of this 10. It's another favorable roll on the four ball here. We knew he was going to be running around the table like that. I'm not sure he planned on running into the four. Turns out okay for him, though. Ends up uh, barely missing the nine ball here. Leaving Bruce an easy out to get himself on the board. And just like expected, Bruce is able to close that out. He's going to get the first point of the series. Anybody who is just tuning in, it is Rack Your Own Alternate Break. So Wilkie wins the coin toss. Runs the rack down, misses nine ball. And Bruce is able to get the two ball out here. And now he is up to break. Let's see if he can capitalize on this opportunity he's been given and... Take an early 2 nothing lead in this series here. If you guys are new to our channel, I am Joshua Sutterfield from the Billiard Sports Network. My partner Jake Lawson is actually in the middle of a match right now. He's playing Kevin West, so he's got a he's got a pretty tough match to get his day started here. He's going to have to earn 
anything he accomplishes over there. Pretty hard. If you guys haven't already followed us on Facebook, go ahead and do so. Turn on those notifications that way you don't miss out anytime we have some action going on for you guys. Let's see how Bruce decides to break these balls. One ball shoots into the side pocket. Two ball goes into the corner pocket. Six ball goes into the same corner pocket. Five's treading towards that corner pocket. So Bruce gets three balls down and is hooked by the 8-9 on the three ball. So he's going to elect to push here. He uses the four ball as a way to ensure that he leaves the cue ball exactly where he means to. Wilkie ends up making a tough cut on the three ball here. See, the thing is with Wilkie being so accustomed to playing on nine-foot tables is that when you leave him shots like that on a bar box, that the degree of difficulty, like the perception of the degree of difficulty is different from players on bar box versus nine-footers. So... He calls 10 ball here. This ball is not a hanger. It does not have to go down. But he did leave himself a pretty decent angle here. And he drills it. So Wilkie able to close out that rack. Bringing it to 1-1 one, one with him breaking. we got quite a few people tuning in from the interwebs today. Appreciate everybody coming in. Go ahead and hit that share button. Let everybody know that we're live. We're live on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. Can I have some more coffee? Thank you. So Wilkie's able to get a couple balls down on the break here. Looks like he can see the one, but not by much. That was a beautiful shot. Had to put a little extreme English on that ball to, to hold that cue the way he wanted to. And he ended up hitting it perfect. So Bruce is going to have to kick at this one ball here. Can't tell if the, uh, the side pocket's in play. Oh, look at this. That was a very great, very great attempt there. I mean, if it was half a percent different, that ball was going in. Half a degree different. So Wilkie still has a lot of traffic here, so he elects to use it. Get some separation. He's going to let uh, Bruce get this these kick strokes in. So the uh, the one's pretty close to the ten. The uh, you see Wilkie call the opposite pocket, so he's gonna have to do a combo bank shot here. 
the way those balls are set, you can see there's just barely, barely a gap in those balls, which makes it difficult to be able to change the angle of the tent. So you pretty much just have to go with what's there. And he drills it. What a shot. What a shot. See him lining everything up here. The way those balls are so you can see There's not really a whole lot you can do besides. I mean, the only thing you really have to control here is making sure that you don't double kiss. Which makes it difficult to be able to. Drills it. It's beautiful. Beautiful shot there. Armando, I think you're right. Uh, I do think I have that spelled incorrectly. Thanks for uh, keeping me honest there. This is what happens whenever you get in a hurry. There we go. Sorry about that, Bruce. My apologies. He had to put a stroke on that ball. Wanted to make sure he came above the 10 ball here. And he gets there. Almost bumped into the 10 ball. That could have could have made things a little bit harder. you don't leave yourself on the rail and you're good. Thank you. Let's 
Thank you all. Armando, I'm not going to be able to see what the score is on the table next to us. I'm sorry, bud. We only have scorecards set up on the TV table. And from where I'm sitting, I can't see uh, the coins as they move around the table. I can tell you when somebody gets to the hill, that'll be the only coin I'll be able to see. Uh, guys, this is a alternating break format. Rack your own alternating break. The racking with the turtle racks. So you got a little traffic you have to dance through here. Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't even want a tango. He just selects to uh, go for the safe. Not 100% sure that we got here. I think Wilkie. Yeah, Wilkie has a full window on the one ball. Whether or not he has enough to be able to make it, we are about to find out. Yeah, I, I, it was hard to tell from where I was sitting if it would kind of look like that 10 ball was laying pretty big. Sorry, guys, we're still getting everything. Uh, still getting a couple things set up in the background here. Right now, I'm getting myself set up with some coffee. He checks that ball nicely. Throwing some inside on there to be able to avoid all the traffic. Two to the three lays pretty simple. And the three to the five doesn't look like it's going to be too terribly difficult either. the four balls just a minute ago. Hello, Donna. Yeah, Bruce uh, struck that ball pretty bad. He was jacked up over the five ball, which makes it tough. He ends up missing that ball by about a full diamond. Uh, gets a little fortunate with the, with the way these balls actually turned out, though. Yeah, guys, it is. Uh, it's two two. Sorry, they have a uh, they have scorecard set up on the back wall there. That way, as I'm doing some other things in the background, and I end up missing a point, I can uh, I can look up there and make sure that everything's staying on point. So uh, Bruce is going to be able to take another swing at the four ball here. Last time he uh, kind of dogged the stroke a little bit because he was jacked up over the five ball. He's going to be forced to be jacked up over the ten ball here. Let's see if we get a little bit of smoother action here. Seven ball is going to play big. Uh, 
appreciate you guys uh, helping me keep up with the score here in the chat. It's always uh, it's always pretty fun having you guys along for the ride with us. I love uploading the videos on YouTube and you know being able to interact in the comment section there, but it's uh, it's definitely a lot more fun having you guys along for the ride with us. Look at that shot! Wow. Oh, he sits back down, though. I guess, unfortunately, that was not called. He was playing for the 10 ball there. Yeah, just enough of a window to squeeze in and out there. He leaves himself a little bit steeper on the six ball than he probably would have liked to, but he can uh, he can definitely make this work here. Armando, it's not a problem at all, brother. We got multiple chat boxes open. We're reading Facebook Live comments. We're reading Twitch comments, YouTube comments. We got it all going on today. Yeah, he's going to... Oh, wow, that ball still falls down. That was ge very generous of the table to accept that six ball in the corner there. Bruce is in a pretty strong position here to go up 3-2 over Wilkie. Gets perfect on the nine ball. Brian, absolutely. That was a very, <laughs> very generous six ball that fell down. But here we are. If we're sitting back here like, wow, that was a big pocket, I can only imagine how how Wilkie feels sitting in, in the chair being the one that that ball fell down on. All right, let's see if we can get you an instant replay on that kick earlier. So he was playing for the 10 ball here. So he's going to have put a little gusto. Uh, Donna, that's exactly how I get better, too. So it's unfortunate that the, uh, the four ball wasn't called because he drilled that ball. Everybody around clapped because we all thought that's what he was playing. And uh, it turns out that he had called the 10 ball. Uh, that is something to be said about Wilkie. He is an incredibly honest player. Integrity is something that is deep-rooted in his skill set as a player and as a human being, which is uh, it's awesome to be around. We need more of that in the pool world. So two had enough to squeeze by the four. Bumps into the three, and the three is just begging to be put down. Three to the four looks pretty simple. And the five is right there by the side pocket. And it looks like it's going to be very easy to get the correct angle to drift up table above the ten ball here. He almost got a little bit straighter than he wanted to be, but this will still work. Uh, 
It'll still be very easy to get there. Well, I say that. I looked up. I saw him queuing without low and figured he would have drawn to the top long rail there to be able to come around that 10 ball. But I guess he uh, was feeling a little bit different down on the table. Ends up making the tough cut on the six. Cue ball kind of catches like right on the outside of that point on the corner pocket, which kills the cue ball, which actually worked very nice for him. And hangs the seven ball here. He's going to give Wilkie a chance to be able to catch back up, tie this match. Wilkie was definitely just handed a gift here. There we go. Wilkie gets out of that rack. He gives himself, <laughs> shakes his head a little bit as he gets out. Just collecting himself. Like, all right, he tied it up. You're about to break. Let's take the lead. Yeah, Brian, I definitely, um, definitely thought he would have drawn back out to the long rail there. So Wilkie has a little bit of debating to do here. We have no shot on the one ball. For anybody who is just tuning in, jumping is not an option in this event. Of any kind. Doesn't matter the cue. Uh, it's kicks only. It is call shot. So let's see if, uh, if Bruce elects to back cut bank this into the side pocket. Yep, and he taps the side pocket. Cue ball's got natural path to go uh, three rails around for the two. That was, that was a good attempt there. Uh, Wilkie might actually have to Oh no, there's a uh, there's enough room to cut this ball. Rubs the edge of the six ball. Uh, still turns out pretty good for him. Didn't alter the angle of the cue ball too much. So we have some options here. Come up for the six on the side or give yourself a lower angle for the six in the corner. He's going to elect to shoot at the side pocket. He does have a half a pocket here. He might try to rub the eight on the way in. Uh, it looks like the eight was not impeded by the point, so we didn't need to touch it at all. So that's perfect. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell from the angle if the, the point of the pocket is blocking it or not until the player's down on the ball. And you see Sean just go through these balls like a hot knife and butter. He 
You know, I've heard people. Uh, I've heard people say that you know Wilkie can be a slow player, and it's one of those things. Like, I don't know that he's actually a slow player. He's just methodical in his approach. You know, he just like he wants to have a plan, but once the plan is there, he the execution of the plan is fast. You know, sometimes, you know, if there's some do or die things, or you know, if something has to be super precise, then there's a little bit extra, you know, thought and calculation that goes into it. But uh, either way, it was a great out. Loki's up by one. He's going to see if he can maintain this lead here. I can't really hear what Bruce is saying, but I can tell he's saying something. I don't know if he's just kind of like talking to himself, trying to get himself in the zone, or if he's talking to Wilkie. I can't tell. Looks like seven ball gets kicked in. Ten ball is hanging in the pocket. Mm. That was a very good chance we're going to be seeing an early ten ball here. Yep, he's going to back cut the one into the side pocket, which is going to give him an angle for the two ten. We might have a very fast rack here. Oh, guess not. Okay. I'm not sure if that's what he was aiming for or if he just overstroked that ball a little bit because he didn't really leave himself a whole lot here. I mean, he could always cut the two into the combo of the three or the four, uh, or he could uh, elect to cut it over into the other corner pocket. But with that, where that nine ball is, you got to be careful if you're going to draw out. You got to make sure you punch it hard enough to get off the rail from out behind the nine. I'm not going to lie, I just wasn't sure about any of that. Wilkie likes to take the combo there. Uh, gets a little unfavored roll here with where the three ball ends up stopping. So this is one of those shots I was talking about earlier where there's a lot of deliberate calculation that goes into it. So you have a 2-3 carom you could play here. Uh, you could always bank the two out, try to hide the cue ball behind the three. He's looking at softly hitting the two onto the other side of the three, bouncing the cue ball out one rail and using the three as a blocker. Several different ways he can approach this shot. How many aggressive players do we have in the chat out there? How many of you guys are looking at this and just screaming at your TV for him to shoot the carom? And how many of you guys are screaming at the TV that it'd be dumb to shoot anything but a safety? I know we got both types out there. I see him eyeballing up the carom now. Yeah, he calls the three. How'd he hit it? How'd he hit it? Two could have landed in just a slightly more favorable position, but still hit it perfect for the three to go in. He calls a 10 ball here. Ooh, barely misses it and scratches Icarumba. Look at this, though. If he wants to shoot the early 10 ball, he's either going to have to carry him with the cue ball or he's going to have to uh, just gonna have to get there another way. 
he's probably just going to end up having to get out of this wreck. He, uh, Sean got fortunate with where that two ball stopped to stop the, uh, the just guaranteed 2-10 combo. Uh-oh. Well, 5-10. 5-10 incoming. There it is. So we still have a tied match here, guys. Let's take another look at that carom. See him lining up how he wants things to go here. Just using the tangent lines. You hit that with center ball. You can find your contact point on the two ball to be able to see it. It was a great shot there. Nine ball riding down the rail. One ball is going to be able to find the side pocket here. Should be no worries here. Foul name on Twitch says the safety is the best shot to do. But I'm taking that three ball all day. <coughs> Sorry about my voice, guys. It's uh, with the weather change going on right now, and it rained all last night. Battling some of these sinuses. Guys, don't forget tonight. You should be rolling that clock back. We're going to be falling back an hour. We all should be able to get an extra hour of sleep. Be careful with the drinks because every time you set it down, it rattles the camera. Alrighty, guys. We invited my, uh, apparently, my brother from another mother, Josh McCauley, over here. Hello, hello. I had five people introduce themselves to me yesterday and uh, thought that I was you. I'm not kidding. It's pretty funny. Now, even the, the waitress here, she's like, there's a guy here who looks just like you, and he's wearing your hat, has your same <laughs> name. He's like, do you guys know each other? I'm just oh. taking over, man. I'm stealing your identity. Hey, that's fine. You have the debt that comes with it. <laughs> So he made a he made a good contact on the ball there. Let's see, we can, the four sevens tied up, but then you have the five hanging right behind it. So yeah, the f the four seven to a dead combo into the five here, and he can't really get in too much trouble here because of speed. You have to hit this ball to make the three. You're going to come out no matter. Even if you run into the ten, you're going to be fine. Oh, he actually just caught the ten ball. Oh, I don't. That, this seems like an unnecessary shot. That seems like a horrible shot, honestly. I wonder why he's. Does he just not feel com comfortable having to get through this uh, combo? He he might have uh he might have called to cut the three in that pocket. Oh then. Yeah. Yeah, you know he was playing that the nine. Uh, he was playing the ten. Mm. That is a uh, not a mistake I'm used to seeing Bruce make. Well, I'll be real honest with you. The only mistakes I've seen him uh, make in the set so far seem to have been uh, decisions, been mental errors. Yeah. Bruce has been around the game for a very, very long time, a uh, former national champion. And he, if he had the open shots, he, I mean, I'm really surprised he didn't just shoot the three ball and get out from there. Now he's given Sean all the, all the momentum, all the fruit. Uh, I thought he was going to do something else. Yeah, yeah he kind of grimaced before he shot because he realized he left himself 
little bit different than he thought he was going to have. Yeah. I, I thought he was going to try and put inside and come back up. And when spinning that ball is the easiest shot. I like watching Sean play. He Most things he, do, he hits are very soft, but he loves to spin the ball around, which on a bar table is the correct way to do it. You don't need to hit anything. You just put a little English on it. You can spin it, and you can go anywhere you need to. Yeah, and uh, Wilkie just made a comment on the rails. Uh, he was kind of rubbing the rail there a little bit, and he's like, some of, the, some of the rails are live and some of them aren't. So he's getting a little bit of a different response based on what rail he's playing on. Wilkie puts down the 10 ball to take the lead in the set again. Spin a little back and forth here. Lead, tie, lead, tie, lead, tie. Yeah. One of the things you'll notice uh, the more matches we'll see is balls will come in at a different speed than they'll come out from these rails. These rails are, most of the rails here are very springy. They're very live. Uh, I personally don't like that, but everybody's playing on the same equipment, so everybody has to deal with the same thing. It's just whether or not you can compensate for it. Yeah, yeah, if you can adjust to it quickly, it's going to yeah. make a big difference and the players like Wilkie and uh, Tencio Chua they're going to be able to adapt to it very quickly most of the other players in here uh, I've seen a lot of people over hit their shots get bad shape on something that should be an easy shot but they just they're too hard headed pool players are hard headed then they don't want to adjust to the equipment I mean these diamonds play better than almost anything you can find in the area it's just the rails are a little springy. And he doesn't Ooh, scratch. That cue ball dug its claws in. It's hanging on for dear life over yeah. there. Now, Sean's going to push here. Uh, push that I would probably go to is put the cue ball about the first diamond near the head rail. Sort of like that. What's going on, Turkey Tom? Pete, I'm, a, I'm adapting uh, pretty well. I won my first match 7-1. Nice. Who'd uh, you play? A guy from Q Masters, uh, Taylor Kripke. Uh, I, I'm probably butchering his last name, and for that I apologize if, when he listens to this. Uh, yeah, I, I, made a, I made a mistake early. Oh, no, not early. I made a mistake late. I was up. Five nothing or six nothing. I scratched it on a ball and he had the nine ten right next to each other. Mm. Other than that, I really didn't make many mistakes. Uh, I was Good. Then I used to play out of this house uh, before Brews opened. I was here four or five days a week, so I'm I'm used to these tables, which is why I usually do well in the tournaments that we run here. You see, uh, Wilkie using a little bit of the mirror system here. You just double the measurement. You see him uh, use his cue stick as a measurement tool there. Any players who aren't familiar with that system, you basically can hold out your stick as far as you want the cue Like you map out where you want the cue ball to be. That's where you put the tip of your stick. And then you can use your stick to literally measure how far out you are from the rail. And then you double that length. And that will dictate where you need to hit on the rail. And uh, we have Taylor who just came over and made sure that we knew that we were twins. <laughs> she is the one who ha made sure to tell me that you looked exactly like me. Uh, it's, it's, it's good times. Yeah. In a second, yeah. <laughs> I, I'd leave the tournament right now and go marry you. Yeah, I've got no problem admitting that. Uh, she's awesome. Oh, that's unfortunate. We were talking to her and we didn't catch what happened here. Uh, are you able to go back and look? Because we might be asked to do that. Um, Do 
Du... Um, yes, I can. Uh, give me just a second, guys. Uh, it was foul. Alrighty, guys. So, uh, I'll see. I might be able to uh, reshow this on stream here in a minute. Uh, but basically, he had clipped the seven ball on the way out, is what had happened there. And we were trying to get confirmation. We were, uh, we we're getting dropped off. We were, we were getting checked on by the waitress to make sure we're doing okay. <laughs> and then that, in that ten seconds that we looked away, that uh, that shot went down. So we had to uh, go back and review the footage. And it is at a critical moment here. You know, with Sean Wilkie being up a rack and taking ball in hand right now is can make a big difference. He's still got a lot of work to do here. Three tied up with the eight ball. This is not going to be an easy out. He's going to try and <coughs> he's going to try and draw into it. Or honestly, a shot that I really like is trying to put the cue ball basically in the middle of the table, and then you can play a safe on the three. You can bank the three ball out three rails and leave the cue ball right behind the eight. Um, but you have to get a you have to get a pretty good angle. Yeah, you got to be able to be straight to stick it. Yeah. I mean, he's he's got the angle to be able to give him. He's got the shot on the 2D.
It's going to be just a minute before I'm able to bring that guys to you. Yeah, Brian, is definitely a weird turn of events there. Six ball drills the side pocket. Got uh, eyeballs on the one. M might. The one, go by, the one does go by the nine. He's just going to spin this ball with straight left. He's going to come to the side row where the eight is to give himself the angle on the two. Yeah, that's going to be really tight. Like He's he's eyeballing the combo right here because that nine is laying really big. Come behind the ball and you're good. Right. Rattle the pocket a little bit, but it still falls down. This will be a big 10 ball for him. Put him on the hill. And it falls down. Bruce is on the hill. It is going to be his break. He just needs to control this break, make a ball, and then the match is in his hands. But this whole match pretty much is going to be determined by this break. Because if he allows Sean back to the table with Sean having the break, he'll hill. Uh, if he doesn't control the cue ball here, or he doesn't have a, uh, a good break, Sean's a heavy favorite from here. This is the, uh, the shot that we were discussing earlier. So everybody can see what had happened here. 
He was attempting to kick in the back behind the one ball. And you can see it clearly grazes the seven on the way out. And that was uh, where me and Josh were looking away, so we had to go back and review footage for uh, for the tournament director. What's actually funny is he scratched because of where he moved that seven. Like Sean ended up, if the seven would have stayed, would have been where it originally was, which he also should have had the ability to move back. But if the seven was where it originally was supposed to be, Sean does not scratch on that shot. Well, if it's a cue ball foul, you don't get to move it back. But if it's a cue stick hit, then you have the option, right? Yeah, but that was a... I think he grazed it with the cue ball on the way out. Uh, he gra no, he grazed the seven ball with the stick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the two ball came in the path of the, where the seven ball was supposed to be. So it disrupts the motion of the entire game. That's why I ended up getting ball in hand. Uh, Rick had to come over and make that decision because it's above our pay grade. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah. That seven ball being there uh, is exactly what he kissed off of to get that shape. So, not able to get the de desired result here. No. You got the two hanging in the pocket, the five basically hanging in the pocket. There is no. There's no trouble balls here, there's no issues. Uh, the one's even, I mean, it's a little off angle, but he's in a spot for the corner or the side, whichever one he wants to go to. Oh. In case anybody didn't know, Bruce Choice has six. <laughs> That's not what people yeah. see, by the way. Yeah, I figured it was your. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna draw, stay above the six. We're running right into it. That's not what I was anticipating. Not at all. I figured that would have been a lot softer shot there. Still gets the position you needed. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And that ball rockets out of there. See, these are, this is what I was mentioning earlier. It's, it's almost like it's the shot selection. Which is where the mishaps seem to be coming from. Yeah. He, he's making this ball, but he's not He's not making the right decision on how to get to the other one. Yeah, he's, he's making it way harder on himself. But right now, he's just trying to try and go. He's trying to duck here. One rail, maybe two. He's going to leave him a window. He is. And Sean has two options. Play really easy safe or go for the out. Maybe he's slow rolling this ball if he's wiping out in front like that. Yeah. He's playing the safe. I'll try to tuck him all the way behind the five, but the eight's still going to lay big enough for him. It's a three ball on the second pass here. Uh, thanks, Draft. Appreciate that. Yep, I uh, reset the audio engine because you told me it was acting a little faulty. Thank you very much. So it's not the easiest combo here, but I do expect Sean to go for this. Yeah, and he's definitely going to bear down on this because he's already he already missed that that nine ball combo. It was easier than this twice. Yeah. And Bruce is on the hill, so he cannot afford another mistake.
yeah, guys, if anything happens and uh, anything at all with the stream is not coming through completely perfect, just let me know. We should be able to make it perfect. He is not hitting his combos well right now. So he's going to have to come back down the table for the four ball. Yeah, he's just going to go one rail, draw this ball out. He's going to come right by the ten. Oh, he's going to go two rails. Okay, same thing. Gets away with rubbing the ten ball there. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if he was uh, going to put a little bit of running on that to try to go above the 10. All right, well, my match was just called again. So after this wreck, I'm going to leave you for Hill Hill. The most, in, well, <laughs> if it does get Hill Hill, I would be leaving you for the most exciting part. Now, if he, if he goes forward with this, he's got to watch how he hits off that 8. But oh, yeah, he definitely has to draw on this one. You see him struggling with his bridge hand there. Feels very uncomfortable on this shot here. Seems like a routine, just straight draw, though. Yeah. Oh, wow. He blasts the ball. Gets no draw. On that note, um, have fun with your Hill Hill game. I yeah. have to go win my <laughs> match real quick. I'll be right back. All right, back. brother. Good luck. Hey. All right, so uh, clearly the six goes by the nine here for him to be... Setting up like this. And we're going to get to see another Hill Hill match. I'm oh, sorry, our last match did not go Hill Hill. It was 5 7 as well. Alrighty guys, it's gonna be Hill Hill, Wilkie to break. Guys, let us know in the chat who are you rooting for. Go and hit us with the uh, tight get some in the comment section if you're rooting for Sean. Get some Wilkie to take this W. And go ahead and hit it with it's my choice if you want Bruce Choice to take the W. Monster break out of Sean. Cue ball almost hitting the light. Gets two balls down, shot on the one. Two, three is laying kind of tough. I think, he, I think he might have to uh, take a 2-6 combo here. So he's got enough space here to be able to take the 2-6. There we go, guys. Got a, got a few people across all the platforms. Facebook, Twitch, YouTube. Seems like we got a lot of people rooting for Sean right now. Sean is a local. As lo well as Bruce. So it looks like the angle that he's playing here, he's going to have to play the two rail first into the six. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to do a straight combo based on what I see him looking at. So he's going to hit the two into the rail, into the six. The two is going to come down table just a little bit to our right. 
and he's going to be able to have a shot on the two in the bottom right hand corner. That's the desired end result here. Two drifts out a little bit further than he wanted it to, but he's still... He still has a shot between the 9 and the 10 into uh, the corner pocket down there. It's just a matter of getting back to the 3 here. So the angle looks less exaggerated from uh, where we're at. If you come here, see the angle is just a little bit more extreme. He's going to elect to back cut the 2 ball instead of taking the natural cut angle because... The backwards cut leads him to the three more naturally. So he's going to be able to come two rails and out for the three ball. This is the pivotal moment of this hill hill match right here. Man, that looked like he one stroke that ball. So Bruce is going to have to put a stroke on this ball here. I see him force following. Yep, that's what I was getting at is he's got to put a stroke on it, which means anything can happen. Oh, and that is the favor that Wilkie needed. If that ball would have hung in the pocket, that would have been so tough. So Wilkie's going to take just a second, make sure he has the rest of the rack mapped out. So he knows he wants to be on the left side of the three, because if he leaves the cue on the left side of the three, it's much easier to get from the three to the four. And so he's electing to play the much longer shot on the two ball just to ensure proper position on the three ball. And he gets there perfectly. So now he doesn't have to worry about the nine ball coming into play because if he was on the on the top side of the three shooting the other way, he would have to try to hold the cue ball above the nine, whereas this way the shot plays completely natural. So it's just a smarter pattern there. Take a tougher shot on your first ball to put you in line for the rest of the rack. That's the lesson there. And the pool gods are in Wilkie's favor right now. That is for sure. He is destined to uh, to win this rack. Yeah, so Wilkie was saying, uh, you know, normally he would just spin that around. Uh, Wilkie is very much an English rail player, uh, but he uh, went to draw that ball instead, and that's where the uh, the unforced error came from. Gets very fortunate, takes a 7-6 win over Bruce. That is, um, you know, sometimes they just say, you know, I mean, that's the definition of balls rolling your way right there. <laughs> 